Hello everyone! How are you doing? I am super excited for this video because I am partnering with Almesia. She's another software engineer YouTuber and her channel is amazing. Like I'm talking about interview tips to conferences to vlogs so definitely go subscribe. We are partnering for this video and we're talking about the software engineering job search. And in particular, we're going to talk about how to find a software engineering job. So these tips work while in quarantine and also if you're not quarantined. So they're really good tips. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Here is the first tip. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Meezy and today's video is a little different because it's a collaboration and you might have already gotten an intro but <laughs> here we go part two on the intro. If you don't know who I am, my name is Meezy. As I said, my channel is Almezia. I make a lot of videos about tech reviews and like coding and just like my life as a software engineer so make sure you check me out. But let's go ahead and get to my part of the video. Hello Lasad. Alrighty, so how to find a job during quarantine. First things first, you want to make sure that your LinkedIn is set up. Most of the job opportunities that I got came from LinkedIn. Make sure that you have your title set. So like say that you're a software engineer, update your headline. Um, so don't, I personally don't like it when people put it in their name. I feel like it makes your name way too long, but you can have a headline and it can say like software engineer at all state right but when you're looking for a job you can say software engineer actively seeking new positions or something like that like just something to let people know that you are looking for a job make sure you have the setting on where recruiters can find you make sure that your resume on linkedin is up to date now here's the thing about resumes on linkedin it's really easy to forget to update them because like you update it and you send it out by email but your LinkedIn one might not be up to date. What I like to do is put my resume on a Google Doc and then have that Google Doc linked to my LinkedIn. So when you upload your resume on LinkedIn you can have like an actual file or you can have like a link and so if you have your resume on Google Drive to a link it will always be up to date and you will never have to worry about it. Two more tips for LinkedIn is to add people who work at the company that you want to work for on LinkedIn. So just connect with people that work at Google, Apple, whatever, and you will start getting hits from recruiters at those companies. And then lastly, be very careful with this one, but feel free to slide in people's DMs on LinkedIn. Um, I would say definitely try recruiters for sure. Um, I mean, that's their job to recruit people. So maybe if you reach out and be like, hey, I'm looking for a position. This is my skill set. Um, does your company have anything for me right now? As far as DMing like the engineers or like the people that have the positions that you want, I don't know how much that would work. Like when people would DM me about working at my old job, I'd just be like, uh, okay, you just need to like go online or like, oh sure, I'll refer you. Like some companies have a formal referral process, but mine really didn't. It's kind of like you just send an email to your manager and then they send that email to a recruiter. So if you want to skip that step, I would say just go straight to a recruiter and the recruiter is going to know everything about the position and what positions are open on different teams versus the engineer probably only knows what's going on with their team. So another tip on finding a software engineering job is to take advantage of all the virtual hackathons, the virtual meetups, classes, webinars, like all of that. So going to those things are super helpful just because it is a great place for networking. So I had a friend, for example, who went to a meetup on React in San Francisco and when I was asking him about it, he said there were recruiters everywhere. So sometimes recruiters like going to these events because if you go to like a React meetup or a Java meetup, all of those different things. It shows how excited you are about the technology that you would attend a meetup after work at like 7 p.m. or even on the weekend. So I'm going to put in some clips of me going to meetup.com. Another great place to find hackathons and meetups is eventbrite.com and just how you can type in stuff like career fair, tech, or 
tech hackathons and this is a great way that you can network meet recruiters or even meet people that work at the different companies that you want to work at and can start establishing a bond other great conferences include grace hopper afrotech there are so many great conferences out there so definitely taking advantage of these meetups i know for hackathons there are some hackathons where if you place first second or third you will automatically get an interview with that company that is sponsoring the hackathons so i'll say really get creative with your googling and your searching i have found webinars and conferences actually through instagram so i follow a lot of hashtags like software engineers, women in STEM, black in tech, like just so many different hashtags. And I see opportunities posted like every day. So definitely take advantage of that and look out for stuff like that. All right, y'all, one more thing, um, just to add to what Maya said, is make sure that you are active on Twitter. If you are a software developer, an engineer, anything in tech really, um, the developer community and the tech community is very big on Twitter. I only found this out in the last year, but I've seen people, um, you know, giving away laptops and just donating money to help people out in like tough situations. So make sure you are very well connected on Twitter. There are some very important people that tweet all the time and would love to help you out. And a lot of managers tweet out job opportunities and I even had a few people DM me about job opportunities at their companies and this is anywhere from like top level companies like Apple and other companies that you probably never heard of in the Midwest. So yes, make sure you are set up on Twitter. Okay y'all, so this tip right here, this tip is for all of the hustlers out there and the people that really have grit. So what this tip requires is emailing a whole bunch of recruiters or people that work at the company you want to work at. So you might be like, okay, sounds cool, but how do I find out their emails? So one tip you can use to find out the email is just, for example, going to Google and typing in Google Recruiter LinkedIn. And when you do that, you'll see a profile and also on the side, you'll see similar profiles as well. And typically, the emails at these different companies have the same format. For example, it might just be like Felicia underscore Cindy at Google.com, for example, or at Amazon.com, etc. So what you could do, and in a non-spammy way, is to be like, Hello, I came across your profile on LinkedIn. I am so interested at working at this job. A little bit about me is, you know, you have to really master your elevator pitch or your email pitch. If you'd like a video on that, let us know. And then after that, you make sure you attach your resume. So the thing with this tip is that you need to be a little bit prepared to be ignored, okay? I would say for my friends who have done this, be prepared to send out about 90 emails and only get one response back. However, if this is your dream company, you know it like it only takes that one time. You just need one response back for this to work. So I'd say look into this tip and I would highly recommend it. Two more tips for finding a job right now is one, to make sure that you have a website. Now, I did not have a website when I did my job search last year slash this year. Um, I was building one, but it wasn't my first priority. But now that we can see people in person, having a website is probably a really big deal. And having a website where you can show projects that you've done or examples of what you've done is definitely going to get you a step further um, and just kind of like show off your skill set more because you don't have that initial face-to-face -face contact or anything like that. And for your website, make sure that you integrate some SEO so that it's easy to find. But since you're looking for a job, you'll probably just be sending it off to people. So it's not the end of the world if you can't figure out how to put SEO on your website. If you want a, a specific video about this, let me know. Um, but that's just the short version for right now. Okay, so remember earlier when we said to um, message recruiters on LinkedIn, something that I've seen a lot of people have success with is applying for a position with a specific company and then emailing the recruiter being like, hey, um, I just applied for this position. Um, you know, I'm really interested, blah, blah, blah. Do you have any tips on like interviewing or, you know, just something like that? Basically, 
when you email them after you apply they can just go and pull your application if they wanted to right they're like oh okay you just applied i'll go pull it for you and we'll try to get it to somebody's desk versus most of the time when you upload your resume to a database or like let's say you apply for a job at amazon it's just gonna sit there until they are very desperate and they need to go through the pool because as I said earlier, most of these recruiters are reaching out to people. So they get those people to apply and they pull their applications directly. So they never really have a reason to go through that entire pool of resumes. So the last tip I would say on how to find a software engineering job is to just simply ask for referrals. Maybe you came across someone's profile on LinkedIn, on Instagram, on Twitter, on like almost anywhere and you see they work at a specific company just try reaching out hey I'm really interested in this company I'm wondering if I can have a referral so you might be like why would anyone want to just randomly help me out so typically at companies if you refer someone and your referral gets hired you also get a bonus and these bonuses are not no chump change like I'm talking about some companies you can get thousands for referring some referring someone and then they get the job so definitely reach out it's kind of like the email strategy except you can do this while you're just on Instagram or while you're on Twitter or these different social media apps there's also another app called blind that you all should look into and um, it's basically where you can like learn about the dirt about different companies you get the tea like for example people would say hey I'm a new grad they're trying to offer me a hundred and fifteen thousand what's the average and then someone else will be like ah they trying to give you a hundred fifteen thousand I'm getting a hundred twenty five thousand like at the like blind is one of those apps also on that app you can basically ask people for referrals so this is what the um, that blind app looks like I don't think it will focus but yeah so definitely look into getting that app because through that app you can ask people for referrals and usually on any social media platform like you have to think about it the worst thing that's gonna happen is you see that little scene message and they don't respond that's all you have to lose so definitely and also make sure you know of course you're being polite you're not being spammy if someone doesn't respond to you the first time don't be reaching back out they probably don't want to talk to you so just make sure you're being like respectful in that way so I just want to say thank you so much for watching. It was so much fun partnering with Almesia for this video. If you would like to see more videos, just let me know in the comments below. So basically next week on her channel, what we're going to be doing is posting a video on resumes. So we both asked some of our subscribers for their resume. What we're going to do is give our own feedback on it and let you know things that we would change and just our opinions. So I'm super excited for that video. So look out for that one on her channel. So make sure to go subscribe. Thank you so much for watching y'all. Stay safe and I will see you in the next video.